Welcome back to another video guys. We left off last night. It was raining, unsure how much we were gonna get. We were supposed to get a lot. We ended up getting only about 12 millimeters of rain and uh, compared to local farms here, that's pretty much the least amount anyone got. I'll put a video of the radar on the screen. This is from last night. The yellow parts of the map are heavy rain. Green is a little bit lighter. And uh, well, you can see there that the radar showed the the heavier rain cells pretty much just going around our farm somehow uh, we were skillful enough to dodge all the rain i'll put it that way that's what it looked like anyway nonetheless we are still really happy to get that 12 millimeters of rain it's definitely going to help our barley crop out a lot right here in the low spot it looks pretty good uh, there's a yellow patch up on top of that hill of course but uh, all in all the barley on our biggest field still looks pretty good and this rain is going to help it survive a little bit longer. As far as silaging goes, we didn't do any today. Uh, we were thinking maybe we could start in the afternoon, but the swaths were so wet still, we figured, okay, we'll just start on Tuesday morning instead of trying at all on Monday. And uh, Nalene kept cutting. She's been cutting for a couple hours now. And she's heading to the next field. We're going to ride along with her, help her open this field up, and get the next field sorted. alfalfa field last summer so it's not as good as the other ones but there's a lot of sweet clover in there all the yellow stuff and hopefully that adds some tonnage so I guess you're 180 acres ahead of me now I guess I don't by the end of the day it'll be at least 220 230 probably yeah it's a lot for me to catch up you're not catching up. I don't think I will either. <laughs> There's some tonnage here. Yeah. Be careful, don't pull it up here. I agree. Yeah, this field is not great. You can see the alfalfa super thin in spots and there's a lot of weeds. It's kind of a mess, but that's usually the case with the first cut that you get off of your alfalfa. Hopefully we can get, you know, two to three tons off of this piece of land. And then we get something. If only it was all like this. Well, after the rain, there's nothing much else to do other than go crop checking. Looking at this barley here, it looks amazing. This is probably the best spot. That's well, getting close to knee high. You can see this variety of barley that we're using has massive leaves on there. And we hope that's gonna bring more tonnage. Dig down here to the dirt. See if there's any moisture in there. There's a bit. You can see half of my hand there is manure. But uh, yeah, no, it's it's looking good. Potential still there for a good barley crop. We took the quad out to the alfalfa field. This is where I started cutting yesterday morning. Me and dad came out here this morning to see how wet these swaths were. And uh, I'm just checking it again this afternoon. Oh man. Soaking wet still. Holy. So uh, it's a good thing we didn't start this afternoon because uh, this would be way too high moisture content. You can see the top is starting to dry out though. Some leaves are wilting, which is to be expected. This stuff has been on the ground for about 30 hours now. But uh, I was kind of getting worried that it was gonna dry out too much, cutting it exactly 48 hours before we got out here. Even though we got the rain on it, still looks like it'll be perfectly fine now. I don't know if I've ever taken you guys through a tree field. I'll put you on the front of the quad and I'll rip through it. If anyone was ever curious what it's like in there.
This morning we sorted out seven steers total out of our steer pen. And these guys are all older buggers and they all have hairy heel warts. You can see he's limping a bit on his left rear. All of these guys have a version of hairy heel warts. You can see he's not putting so much weight on his left rear. But um, that's why we sorted them out so we could take care of that. We were gonna wrap them because we thought there was you know maybe one or two in the corral. But since there's seven, that is too much need for us to wrap. So we're gonna run them through a formaldehyde foot bath. Now formaldehyde is very commonly used throughout the entire dairy industry, throughout the entire world. So uh, it's what a lot of guys use for foot baths. We would use it in the barn. Formaldehyde works a million times better than copper sulfate. The only issue is that it is bad for human lungs. So in the barn where there's not a lot of ventilation, it's not a human friendly product to be working with. And that is why we instead use copper sulfate. Maybe if you build your barn in a special way with really good ventilation around your foot bath, it'll be no problem. But uh, we just figured, you know what? Copper sulfate works, not as well, but it works good enough so that we don't have to use formaldehyde. But since these guys all have hairy heel wart, we figured why not grab some formaldehyde? We'll run them through a foot bath outside. You don't need any ventilation because you know you got natural ventilation out here. And uh, we'll take care of them like this. So we sorted them out, we put them in a separate pen. Got some feed here, big water bowl. And over the next three days, we're just gonna walk them through that foot bath and take care of the hairy heel wart. Lots of fun. Dad just went and picked up a tote from the city. So I'm gonna grab the skid steer and we're gonna unload it off of his truck. So this is the plan. Steers are in the corral there. This is a portable foot bath. This used to be our main foot bath in the old cow barn. Kept it, which is good because we can use it now. We hope to be able to slide it underneath the fence here and then uh, run the cows through. Sides. Huh. Looks fancy. Does it fit or not? Man, this was designed for it. So the foot bath's pretty much full. Got our tub full of steers. What are you doing now? I'm trying to spray all my crap out of here. So the formaldehyde's pretty, it'll make steel rust pretty quick and bite away at concrete. So we did it right next to the expensive hydraulic chute. Got to clean it off. Since we weren't shopping this morning like we were planning, we could do our regular Monday chores, which is sorting cows to be dried off on Wednesday morning, get them in their separate group, wean them off of the heavy milk cow feed, reduce their milk production. And then we also put this group of close-up cows in this morning, heifers and cows. Last thing I'm gonna do today is help my sister Miriam give two cows IVs. The two ladies that aren't looking so hot. Just like that, we got that IV in there, and uh, we're gonna be good to go. Fake news! <laughs> You're never gonna put this in your video. Oh, just cut to where I, should, like, where I put the needle in, to just now. 